Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna show you how to install a tower cooler on both AMD and Intel. So I picked two different tower coolers here. I mean, for the most part, all the hardware is gonna be very, very similar. So it doesn't really matter which one you have. The difference becomes having an AMD or an Intel, the brackets are gonna be a little bit different. So that's why I'm gonna show you one of each. So depending on which one you want, you can skip to that part of the video. So we are going to start with AMD, starting with the the AMD, so I just set up a CPU here to test, and we are going to unbox the Zalman Tower Cooler. So this comes with a fan. We have the tower cooler, and then we have a box of hardware. Pretty much every single tower cooler is going to come with thermal paste in some way. This one comes in a little individual package like this. Sometimes they'll actually have the syringes, which is really nice. And they come with two different plates. This is why I'm doing two different examples. And we are going to use the back plate that this comes with. We're just going to need to take off these brackets to start off. So these are very easy. Just fill up screw. You should still have these standoffs. We're gonna need those. Next up, we are going to need these plastic parts that just rest on the standoffs, and then these screws that will usually be labeled, and then we're going to need the bracket. Starting off, we're gonna take each of these plastic parts, there's four of them, and we're going to rest them on the standoffs. There's no screwing, it only rests one way. The screws will come later. Now the way that this bracket works is they've made this in a way that it's going to work with the Intel and the AMD. We're gonna be doing AMD, so we're gonna do these holes right here in the middle. It might be a little bit different for you. You wanna make sure that these little standoffs are facing up. And then after this, we'll screw in all the screws. All right, so I'm gonna to attempt to use the thermal paste that they gave me. Please forgive me for how bad I'm gonna be able to apply this. I'm not gonna be able to apply it with much accuracy. One last thing, make sure you peel off the little peely. Oh shoot, this, one, this one's got two of them. Make sure you peel everything off because that will mess it up. Don't forget to put the logo up if you have a logo in the front. We're going to carefully place down. We do not want to wiggle it on. You want to make sure you're placing it on those standoffs and we're going to with one hand hold the heat sink and then tighten both screws. I would tighten one side just a little bit and then tighten a little bit of the next side. So there's not one side that's way higher up than the other. So we're just gonna keep repeating that until it's all the way in there. Just a couple on one side, a couple on the next. So we're trying to keep it as even as possible. This next part, we're going to install the fan to the heat sink. And there's a few key details that are very important that you really don't wanna mess up. On the side of the fans, there are usually some sort of indication on where the airflow is going. So we want those arrows facing the heat sink. So all the air is going through. Now this one has the CPU plug on the motherboard and it has the RGB one as well. Yours might not have both. I'm not gonna really show how to install this part. That'll be for a different video. This will just go onto the motherboard here on the back. To attach the fan, it comes with two of these little springy brackets. Now I find these kind of annoying and tricky to get on there. So just be patient with them. I eventually get it. It might take me a couple times here which I'll probably just cut to the time that I get it. So we're gonna hold the fan where we want it in place, and then we're going to take the bracket, and then these outermost holes on the fans, we're going to hook both sides and pull to that first crevice. And this will keep the fan in place when we have both of them in. It will like hug and grip right inside there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side because right now it's just kind of hanging there. You wanna go on the outermost holes and then hook it right on that first hook. Usually they'll have two lines here. So now the fan is on all the way and then we just need to plug it in. So we're going to take the CPU fan header or we're gonna take this, plug it into where it says CPU fan on the motherboard, usually gonna be right next to it. So that way it will be pretty easy to hide the cables. We are done here with the AMD. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the Intel side, which will be very similar. We're setting up this Intel motherboard with a tower cooler and ID cooling. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's in the box and what we'll need. We have the little box of hardware, we have the fan, and we have the heat sink here. So for setting up Intel, tower coolers here. They usually come with some sort of back plate that this one conveniently has the screw sticking out. So we're going to flip 
the motherboard over and where those holes are on the motherboard, we're going to match them up and make sure it fits. And now these screws should be going through on the motherboard for the next step. So this particular tower cooler, which is a little bit more unique than some, this one actually rests flat with the fan on top. All right, once you have that bracket on, you are going to take, this is pretty specific to this, but bear with me here. They will usually come with little standoffs to put on the on the screws here now this one happens to be a 1700 socket not sure if you can see that in camera but these are labeled you're going to take all four of the ones that it came with and rest them on the screws so it gives the brackets that we're about to put on a place to rest now you have your brackets you want the back plate here to go out and then there's this little screw on it and you want that facing up. That way we're gonna be able to screw the tower cooler on. So this will just rest on. It will usually come with a lot of sizes. Just play with it and make sure you get the right size for your motherboard. All right, now that we got that on, the next step is take the thermal paste that it came with. Luckily this one did come with the tube. We're going to unscrew the top here. I'm going to just do the X. That's the one that works best for me. Now that we have the brackets on and the thermal paste on, we're going to need to hold these brackets brackets in place. This tower cooler is a little bit unique. All right, now that you've got the brackets on and the thermal paste on, we are going to hold those brackets in place with some screws that look like this. You just want to screw those on top. Your tower cooler should come with screws like this, similar to this, that are labeled for which one you need. And this just keeps that bracket held in place before we put the heat sink on. Now I'm just going to hand tighten these and then do a final screw tighten. Next up, we're going to get the heat sink on. We're going to pull off the back here, ignore the thermal paste on it, I was just sizing it up. And for this one, we're going to have these facing up and we're going to line it up with those screws that were facing out on the brackets. And you want to not wiggle it too much, you wanna make sure it's resting pretty nicely on those screws so you have an easy job here to screw it in. Now this is not technically a tower cooler but i feel like it gets the same point across for the video all we have left is to put on the fan you want to make sure with the fan that we have it facing the right way logo is usually going to face out so we can see it that way that the air is flowing the right way and as for this cord i like to keep the cord in the back so it's easier to cable manage now this one has screws to screw into the heat sink which is nice, but some of them come with brackets like I showed on the AMD portion of this video. So if you wanna see how to use the brackets, just watch that uh, last part of the AMD portion of the video. It'll be the same for Intel. But this one has screw variation, which is even easier. Make sure that you're putting the right screws in here. These are taking the smaller ones. There's two different sizes here. This was too long, so it's these. The last thing that we're gonna need to do here is take this and plug it into that CPU fan header on the motherboard. It'll be labeled, looks like it's right here in the corner, and we're good to go. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what little quick tutorial you want next.